let's talk about strategic partnerships you know maybe maybe more bluntly i mean how do you negotiate i i I like to talk about how much does it cost you know what what's what's the price of things uh what's the timelines uh uh, how do you negotiate that into a strategic partnership the opposite and you know you could say it's simpler maybe you just should do some tactical we need this now there's there's a ton of cdmos out there i mean i mean Deza just said there's there's all these boutiques you can go to for exactly what you need um and and you can also make decisions along the way you're not you're not buttonholed into one one uh, uh a cdmo or one partner so that's that's the cynic in me and 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 i'm not, not alone because we've had some others ask you know what 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 do you mean when you say a strategic partnership now you all can answer that let me start with with kirstine because kirstine interesting you have put together you know specialty cdmos so to speak and then you said they're all a part of a strategic relationship do you have an internal team of 10 people working on this uh how how do you how do you do that all if only um (laughs) (laughs) i liken the strategic partnership to dating right do you have to kiss some frogs (laughs) and very occasionally you get love at first sight um but you know the strategic depart the strategic partnership sorry is is a thing that it evolves and it's an iterative process you know and and you can meet the perfect date and and they can be wonderful or you can meet the perfect date and over a period of time you both evolve into something else so i think you know we've touched on on things always being moving and active and so it's something you have to pay attention to your and i think they don't become strategic partnerships again until perhaps your two or three projects down the track Mm. and maybe it's when you look back and say yes actually that's really worked for us we have developed technology together or our scientists have collaborated or this cdmo really understands what i need and actually is hand in hand with me asking where the next project is or what's happening i think those are the indicators so that's what it feel i'm you know and i'm quite a feeling non-scientific person in some respects there's a lot of um gut feel around this um there's a lot of work goes into it so whether that's relationship building how you manage how you interact how you bring groups together um how you solve problems because sometimes you need to go through, through some tough times to mm-hmm. to come out the other side and recognize you've built something together mm-hmm. Actually, uh, I let me expand on that a little bit. If somebody else, sorry to jump in. Um, uh, we, I, you know, selecting a CMO is really, at the end of the day, not that different to finding a good roofing contractor or a good, um, you know, a landscape person or someone to do your kitchen remodel, right? I mean, how do you go about doing that? That's that's the basic processes of outsourcing, right? I mean, you're having the roof put on your house, is you're, you're outsourcing. You're, not, you're, you're getting somebody else to do the job that you're, you either cannot or are incapable of doing or you need expertise doing, right? So how do you go about that? You ask your, your neighbors or someone and say, hey, you know what, I need my roof to be fixed. What do I do? Who do you, can you recommend somebody? Right? And that's pretty much how I, at least for me, I don't know about all of you that are listening to this, at least for me, that's how I go about initially and saying, hey, you know, I need solid state characterization. Uh, have you call up some of my best friends and say, can you recommend somebody? And then you go talk to them and say, well, what do you like about them? What do you not like about them? What do you, what do you think are their strengths? Where do you think I need to work on if, you, if I went with them? You know, they might say, you know, this is this is really this is really great, and so I think that that a lot of the uh, the part, the lot of the parts are 
asking people with expertise and experience on what they think um, their experiences in the past have been uh, and, and, and going from there. And I think uh, this is, I, 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 and for me, it's worked out really, really well. Um, so, I mean, the, you, we, how many times have we said, well, you know, I really don't like um, the PM there, they're not, their instruments are not great, but they do these things well and so on. So, so that's kind of where I go uh, with, you know, your network of, um, so basically we tap into our, our network and crowdsources. <laughs> 